I'm encouraged by my conversations with China's leaders, which reflect a strong desire to remain deeply engaged in existing international institutions and a strong desire to benefit from the lessons learned over the past 70 years as new organizations are launched. China's drive to reform and recognition of the need for high standards reflects the importance of our ongoing engagement. It's important that China and the United States work with others to establish and maintain clear rules in cyberspace. We both have a strong interest in making sure that intellectual property, including trade secrets, is protected and that violations are prosecuted strictly and effectively. Cyber-enabled theft of commercial technology or trade secrets, a modern form of piracy, is unacceptable, particularly by state-enabled actors. China moving towards a more market-determined exchange rate has been an important part of our agenda for years, and it remains at the top of our economic engagement with China today. It is important that China continue to move toward a market-determined exchange rate. China's failure to allow the market to play a decisive role in setting the exchange rate has adversely affected the global economy. China wants the RMB to increasingly be an international currency, a natural next step in the liberalization and reform of the Chinese economy. China will need to successfully complete difficult fundamental reforms, such as capital account liberalization, a more market-determined exchange rate, interest rate liberalization, as well as strengthening of financial regulation and supervision. This will leave China's economy more balanced internally and externally. The international financial institutions continue to provide the best framework for multilateral cooperation on international finance and development. China, the United States, and the world economy have benefited enormously from the global financial architecture. Both the U.S. and China have a strong interest in preserving and advancing these institutions. China rightly wants to play a greater role, not simply because its economy is large, but because it has a strong interest in and responsibility for maintaining and advancing global stability and growth and the financial institutions that support these goals. Simply put, it is not in China's interest to turn its back on the norms developed over the last 70 years that have been critical to China's and America's long-term economic prosperity. And this week's conversations in Beijing confirm that this is a shared view. Important choices to make. These choices will affect the lives of millions today and determine the future for generations to come. The stakes are high. But let me be clear. Whenever China works to advance economic opportunity, durable development, and human dignity, America will work with China.